basketball you betcha i've returned ready to make you a shot maker not a shot taker so we're about to get right into that and we're going to get right into our footwork and our jump shots it's a new clip remember we are using our footwork we're taking one dribble we're pulling up and we're making that jump shot oh yeah and then remember when we are doing the second phase of this we are ripping through going sideways and taking that jump shot and then you're going to rip through then take a step back dribble and then shabluk, another jump shot yes we're gonna do this with five makes in each footwork set then you're going to go to the other side and do the same thing after you do that and you've warmed the footwork up you kind of warm the movement up we're going to go back to the front of the rim and we're going to get right under the basket and make shots okay we're going to make 10 real quick then we're going to go to form shooting okay so 10 on each side then you're going to go to form shooting you're going to go on the side and make five front make five and on the side and make five all right then after that, we are going to shoot bank shots. That's right, we are going to shoot bank shots. So those bank shots are finding that spot on the backboard that can consistently help you make that jump shot. You're gonna make five at the first level, five at the second level, and then five at the third. Then you're gonna do that on the other side again, shooting that bank shot, all right? Then after we have completed that, we will then go into our footwork again, which we will spin that ball to ourselves and catch and shoot that. And we'll make, uh, let's say five in each of the footwork aspects on both sides. Then I would like you to then go to all around the world shooting only in the key, right? We're only gonna go short range in the key. And then you're gonna come back around again and you're only gonna make three each spot, okay? Three each spot. Now, remember, all of this shooting is for you to make shots consistently. Couple different things is also the physical aspect of it. It is the mental because shooting is a tough drill in general. And if you don't see your shot go in, then we just shoot the shot to make it and that's not always the correct way to do it, all right? Please keep your form as consistent as possible so that you understand what your shot is. And then as you make adjustments to make shots, then that would be the procedure to go through to becoming a better shooter. Then we're gonna go to free throw line. Hit that free throw line, you're gonna make five free throws. After five free throws, you can take a quick little water break if necessary. Quick reminder, basketball, you be sure to check out past episodes and also know that we are coming with some new content for you and be looking for our first series on a basketball player and their journey of making it in the game of basketball. So we'll be looking out for that and we'll be looking out for you and all the comments that you provide for us too. All right, basketball, you, you know what to do. Keep going. Shooting is consistency, but it's also conditioning. So understand the importance of being able to run around, catch the ball and shoot, and dribble and shoot, okay? We're doing all these different things, and that's to help you become a better shooter, but also be better conditioned, as I could just have you shoot short range, and you really don't have to move as well. So. Just remember why we do all of this is because of the consistency aspect, but then also that other C, which is conditioning. All right, now we're gonna get into our three level shooting, and then we're gonna do three spot shooting. Okay, so three level shooting, I want you to go layup, I want you to go mid range, I want you to shoot the three. Okay, remember, it's all gonna be in a straight line. You're gonna go work that right hand layup, you're gonna write that, work that right hand one dribble pull up, and then you're also gonna work that either you can spin it to yourself, catch and shoot the three, or dribble up and shoot the three. Okay, you are going to go three sequences of making all three. All right, then you're gonna go three spot shooting. Remember, that was a layup. Then you kind of go off to that left side, you're shooting, and then you're rolling the ball out to yourself, working your footwork, looking for your pull up there, okay? 
So all that's going to be in the mid range. And that is what we're going to work. And that one is going to be 12 total. Okay. So you don't have to make them in a row. You just have to make 12 total, depending on how much you end up making or missing is going to determine how many times you do it. All right. Then after we do that, you are going to do star shooting the mid range way. Oh yeah. Working that footwork again. We're only going to go two times through. You're going to work that star shooting on the mid range. And again, the footwork needs to be correct. The balance needs to be proper and the free throw needs to be made in order for it to count. All right. Then I want you to go ahead and start on that three point line. But today we're going to dribble up and shoot that three. All right. That's the key there. We want to work on our speed, be able to decelerate and have the comfortability of being balanced and shooting into the three all right that is another thing to talk about always i mean there could be a full breakdown on it but again you want it to flow into your shot because really you're gaining a lot of power with being able to dribble and dribble up with speed okay so you might be able to shoot a little bit further than you thought all right, I want you to make three on the right side. Then I want you to bring it up with your left hand on the right side. Make three there. Same thing in the middle. Same thing on the left side. Bringing it up with the opposite hand, being able to shoot off of both hands. Then I want you to go to shooting all around the world with a three, though. Okay, so we're going to go to each spot. Again, I love this drill just because you get every single piece of the three-point line and you get multiple shots. And you don't really get bored because every time you go back to the three-point line, it's a different look. So you have to make that adjustment just a little bit to make that jumper. All right. And then you're going to go to the free throw line. And then just a little bit of conditioning coming your way. So this one's gonna be a little harder than usual. We're gonna run baseline to baseline, wing to wing. Typically I give you a total of four, and if that's what you wanna stick with, that's fine. But today's total is gonna be eight, okay? So you're gonna make 16 total shots. That's a lot of running back and forth to get your own rebound. So lock in, do not get discouraged if you're not making shots. You then become comfortable with this pace of like going hard but it's a nice jog but then it's also the the legs start to feel it and then you have to work now through fatigue right since it is the last drill so don't get discouraged just make shots after you've made all of these shots then i would like you to go to the free throw line make 10 let's try to hit 7 out of 10 today keep it above 70 percent if you must and also remember to like, comment, and shoot me any type of questions that are necessary for your knowledge of the game as we continue to do what we can do to provide everything you need. All right, it's the Daily Trainer, and I can guarantee you this, someone's always working. Are you?